So today we're going to have a look at the uh, June HDI Max. It's a Blu-ray and media player. So I'm just going to turn it on. Yeah, the front of the screen just saying loading. In fact, when I loaded it up, it mentioned, uh, told me the time, which was nice. I hadn't set any of that previously. And I can see top right, it knows where I am. It knows what the weather is like. Apparently it's 19 degrees. I would disagree. Uh, certainly it's cloudy on June the 21st. And the time is just nearly quarter past one. So, the options here, as soon as you turn it on, are sources. Where your content lives. Is it on optical drive, which is your Blu-rays, or your DVDs, or is it on the network? Then, uh, I imagine in sources if you had an internal hard drive or a USB thumb drive, those would appear as well. TV seems to be options if you've got the tuner card installed, which we don't, so we can ignore that. Favourites, I assume, are your favourite network locations. Applications are things such as the web browser, radio, shoutcast and torrents. I don't think I can use the torrents because I haven't got an internal hard drive. I need to save it somewhere. And then you've got the options. So general, then change interface language, and on screen savers on for just return, change date and time settings, so let's just grab it from a time server on the internet. Videos where you pick your options, so we we'll probably want to go video mode. Just be crazy and go 1080p. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of options. 1080p 60 hertz is what we'll go for. And we'll apply that. Yeah, just giving you uh, the option to revert back to the old mode, but we'll keep those settings, which is nice. Quick little. Uh, Run down on the setup here. We've just got a HDMI Max connected via HDMI to an Onkyo 609 amplifier. It's by HDMI 1.3 cable. Uh, the TV is a Panasonic Plasma, uh, the VT30 range 42 inch model. Uh, I think that's about it for the technical side of things. Everything's connected up. The network is just running off a 10 100 meg router acting as a wireless hub. Okay. Obviously the uh, Max, like a lot of the June products, have gigabit networking. There you go, audio option. So this is where you're basically telling it where you want to send the information. So we'll tell it the bitstream. We'll tell it to go 5.1. Best quality, blah, blah, blah. As you can see all sorts of high and audio options. Network is where you specify what sort of what connection you have. We've got a wired one which is obviously detected. You can also set up a wireless option and we're on DHCP. You can also assign a static IP address. Applications, here are some options for the various applications you have. I think you can also install more. We'll play around with that later. Appearance. Uh, various skins. So as you can see, the interface probably has changed since the last time anyone looked at the Junes. This is, we're running on the, one of the newer beta firmwares. And my only complaint previously of the HDIs was the fact that the interface was just so boring. You know, it worked. Everything was easy to find, but people do like pretty things. I'm not saying these are amazing, but uh, it's a hell of a big upgrade since. So let's go for red. Oh no, maybe not. Sunset. Okay, that'll do. And you can change the way the main screen is displayed. So plain or tabs or folders. So we've got tabs currently. You can change where your icons live. You can change if they're animated. All sorts of options there. Playback options. You can change what language is it in. The subtitle options. Let's have a look in there. You can choose where your subtitles come from, either externally only, internally only, or both. We're not allowed to have subtitles on all the time. And you've got zoom settings. Oh, pretty much everything. Alright, this is for the file browser, so it's going to hide system files. It's only going to show you files it can actually play back, which is handy. You don't really care about the rest. 
just going to automatically play from uh, DVD ISOs and things like that. Just, will it auto play? Yeah, you can set it auto play for your audio, DVD, and Blu ray separately by the optical drive. Most people probably would want auto play on. Your display, you can have it show the clock in standby, etc. Let's have a look if some access options, I'm not sure what they do just yet, I haven't played around with them. Oh, you can change the fan speed, that's handy. So we've got it on uh, auto, I can't hear it. It probably isn't doing much, but deal, I know it. Okay, and this is changes the action of the uh, power button on the front of the unit. I'll just show you the, uh, come out of the menu. So it's basically the menu is in a quick and easy way. So, back to sources is where we carry on. I'll just show you briefly the June. As you can see, that's the June, that's my Xbox, that's the Max, and that's my Mediator 400X. As you can see, the... Uh, June is pretty big. It's the same size as say uh, that's my normal Blu-ray player from Panasonic. So exactly the same size width, but it is a lot deeper and I would say a lot heavier. So I turn it off now. That will just say it's going in the standby, and as you can see, it's now changing the time. Okay, obviously this comes off, but I just kept it on to uh, keep it protective. Got some tape here. Just gonna remove. That's your optical drive there. Two jacks. And here you've got a drive bay for a hard drive, which is slots in there. Certainly. This is a little cover for the USB slot, SD card slot, and you've got hard keys there for your functionality for your blu-ray and your dvd probably works for mkv files and things like that as well but you probably use the remote and a quick little tour of the remote not backlit or anything but it's very light buttons are nice and soft easy to grip all in all looking good so let's try and uh, play something back 